Good morning, my name's Liz, I'm one of the leaders at Ashford Vineyard. It is Thursday the 4th of June, a bit dull this morning as the weather changes. This is your daily check-in and I'm wondering how you're doing because I think this week's been particularly difficult. It's not just the events in America. I know of a lot of people who are going through really difficult situations, cancer, cancer treatment, uh, visits to hospital, all sorts of things. So I was remembering when we had a family holiday to the Peak District a couple of years ago and it was one evening we were walking home after a beautiful walk but we were really tired and we entered a long disused railway tunnel and because of our tiredness we were just longing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've got a lovely picture to, uh, to show what that looks like, I can't share it on here. Um, but what does the light at the end of the tunnel look like for you? For me, I go straight to the book of Revelation, chapter 21, and it says this. Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. That's right back at the beginning when the world was perfect and not broken as it is now. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who is seated on the throne says, Behold, I am making all things new. So I'm wondering, what for you is the light at the end of the tunnel? What does it look like? What does it represent? What do you look to for that hope? I know my hope's in Jesus, but more than that, it's the res restoration of everything becoming new and mended. I hope you have a better week ahead. Bye.